Hello, welcome back to Quick's 14 blog. Getting back into some more heroics here. This time, going for Violet Hold, uh, which is of course in Dalaran and everything. Uh, done Violet Hold quite a few times before. It's probably a, it's a very common instance, um, obviously, since it's right there in Dalaran City. Um, easy to get to, a nice five man. It is a level 80 instance on regular as well as heroic, though. Uh, on regular, you can get in probably as early as level 76, 77. Uh, obviously, heroic is what we're taking a look at here, and this is... Uh, anyone who's done any of talk or anything might find this a little familiar. This is an... Uh, not, I, wanna, I don't want to see it like a gauntlet or arena thing, but it, it's kind of similar to that. Basically, when you start it, it's non-stop, almost non-stop. There's a few breaks but not too much. Uh, the important thing to note here is that if you wipe, you have to start from the very beginning, no matter where you wipe at. So that's why some people can be very, very picky <laughs> about running this, especially on heroic, since this is usually for emblem farming now. But there is some nice, very nice heroic uh, loot that you can get out of here as well. Uh, most of the fights is dealing with portals. There is, uh, looks, I believe there's 15 portal or 10 portals, 14? 18, 18. Gosh, I can't quite see that number from here. But yeah, about 18 portals, each, each yeah, three waves of six, uh, till the final boss. Three bosses. The bosses are random of which one will be picked. You can kind of see them in the holding cells. Besides the final boss, the last boss is always the same. Um, but the other two are random. Who's going to be picked, and who will come out? Um, they vary from simple tank and spank bosses to kiting bosses to uh, uh, odd bosses, as you'll you'll see. Uh, mostly, you'll be dealing with these portals. Uh, if you've done um, the original Cot, if you remember some of my videos from them, are actually Cot too. You'll recognize some of how these portals work. It doesn't work exactly like it, but it's pretty similar. Um, not very difficult at all. So after a certain amount of portals, like like said before, a uh, random person will teleport in and open up one of uh, the uh, prisons here, if you will, to let out one of the bosses. This boss is the water boss, which basically has... Uh, uh, it, it, he seems pretty simple there for a second, but he creates a water shield at a certain point, and then uh, as he does that, he pretty much kills himself, but he spreads out these like minions or ads or whatever that come towards him to help buff him up or or heal him or something of that nature. So you need to uh, try and kill them as well as trying to keep attack of him. They get, they have pushbacks. It's it's really not a hard boss fight, really. Uh, it's more annoying than anything, especially for the pushbacks. Because as these little water guys uh, get close and, and of course die, they're, they're going to push you back. And it can be real annoying, especially for healers, uh, in order to uh, keep up with it. Otherwise, it's really not that difficult of a fight, really. It's just a simple tanking him, keeping track of when he comes back to life, and just keep knocking him down and keeping those ads handled. Uh, otherwise, not like I said, not a very hard boss fight at all compared to some of the others that you've seen and uh, will probably be doing. This is just an annoyance more than... I hated that. just pushed me totally back than anything. So Once he's down, of course, you get a little bit of a break. It's about uh, 95 seconds or about a minute and 35 seconds uh, break before the next, next portal waves start uh, leading up to the second boss. And of course, in heroic mode, just like at everyone else, uh, typical is getting champion seals, or not champion seals, sorry, emblems of conquest. Uh, that's probably why people like doing uh, heroic VH and things of that nature, because honestly, when you've done it so many times, it doesn't take very long. The entire run probably takes maybe, uh, sp depending on the group uh, consistency and how your DPS is going and everything, maybe an hour, hour and a half, not very long at all. For, not really for a raid, sorry, but for, for a uh, for a group for heroic, very very quick. Uh, there are casters that come out of these portals. Um, some are casters, some are normal attacks. In heroic mode, captains come out of the portals instead of uh, actual portal keepers, like that one there. 
uh, as you'll see here. Uh, when captains come out, the portals actually close. They don't keep the portal open. So that's a little difference between uh, regular and heroic mode to keep in mind. Of course, just like all level 80 dungeons, uh, especially in heroic mode, of course you can get your tabard rep. Uh, so make sure you're wearing your, your tabards for whatever you're doing. Uh, maybe in the future I'll have a video going into more detail about how all that works and some of the places you can go to uh, get tabards that you could use to help uh, get rep from and some of the bonuses from that. So again, the first two bosses are random. Uh, I don't believe I've had every single boss yet. I've gotten pretty close, uh, but not quite all of them. And uh, I believe after this one is when uh, the next boss is going to be released. It's pretty much a rinse and repeat. Uh, for the portals. It, once you get the portals down, they're not very hard at all. Yeah, yeah. And here comes the next boss. This is a uh, interesting boss. It looks confusing, but it's really not. There's three of them, but technically there's actually only one. The other two are just extra guards. Uh, you want to focus on the main boss there in the middle uh, because he chain heals and uh, so you need to focus your DPS and everything else on him. This is actually this is one of the easiest bosses in VH that I've encountered so far to heal. It's very very simple. He does do a little chain lightning along with his uh, chain heals. He's kind of a shamanistic, but as long as the tank is up there holding aggro for all three, the adds aren't an issue. And once he's down, you can easily deal with the adds. And that's it. That's it for that boss. <laughs> now, usually in my videos, I wait to show every single boss uh, before I coming out with uh, one of these videos. I opted not to do this in VH because it's very hard. It could t it could literally take a month, if not weeks, to to get footage of every single boss because it's totally random and there's quite a few here. And like I said, I haven't even encountered all of them yet. Uh, on heroic, let alone regular. So, and of course, with the the lockouts, uh, pretty much for the day, when you do heroics, it, like I said, it would it would take probably a month, if not more, to get all the footage. So I figured it'd be best to go ahead and just show you all this, um, get you a good look, because this is probably the most common heroic you'll be doing, especially if you're just after farming emblems, because it is so easy. Or not really. It's not that it's so easy. It's because it's so fast. So after the first two bosses, you have the last few portal waves, and once that's done, is the final boss. And as I said before, the final boss is always the same. Uh, it is a blue uh, dragon kin of the dragon flight. So it's pretty much a dragon fight. Um, so you will definitely have to keep that in mind while fighting it. Uh, there's a few differences that we'll go over once we do get to that boss that uh, works a little differently than some of the other dragon fights. But some of the standard stuff is still there. Tail whip, you know, for stuns or getting thrown across, and of course the cone effect in the front. Obviously it's not as bad as some of the raid dragons is, but uh, it's very, very similar. So we have our last few portal waves here. And then the, uh, the last boss will show up in, in her uh, humanoid form, yell at you and all this stuff. She'll jump down to the very center of the entire place and turn into her dragon form, and then the battle will start. So, and I believe that'll happen right after this portal. I want to show all the portals because, as you can see, they can ra randomly spawn in different spots, but they're usually this fairly easy spots, so it's usually easy uh, to just do at a glance and look and see where they're at and get to it. Um, keeping up with the tank, especially if you're a healer, is pretty important. A little lag there. Oh. <laughs> uh, so you'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that. So there she is, the very last boss. Like I said, she has a dragon, so keep that in mind. She has a few abilities that she'll do. She'll do a blizzard uh, that gets cast 
periodically around. Uh, basically, if you get in that, just get out of it. Very simple, standard stuff there. She has this arcane vacuum, which pretty much anyone who's a spellcaster is going to get teleported right on top of her. Um, in most cases, if the tank's got control of it, uh, some people will find it okay to just stay there. Uh, I find it easier to move out because it's just so hard to see on top of her. Plus, like I said, the cone effect is an issue. Um, Mana Destruction is a uh, DOT she will do every now and often, so healers keep an eye on that, especially if it's cast on you. She's not too hard, honestly. Uh, just a simple tank and spank, and looking out for these extra abilities, and look, just being aware, and not being taken too much by surprise. And of course, since she's a dragon, she's also skinnable. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, all for now, so please rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll have some more heroics, quests, all that good stuff coming out of it, yeah.